people, Terrell Harris here, and I wanted to talk about the reasons we fail at Lent. So, just wanted to paint the picture. It's the end of Lent, day 40 is upon us, and ultimately, or a lot of times, we sit our favorite treat out. We're ready to dive back into the very thing that we've given up. And then, at least for me, what's happened, I, I act like a madman. I dive right back into that very thing I've given up for Lent. You know, because I'm so eager to get back to where I was at. And ultimately, the reason we fail at Lit is because we're not replacing what we've given up with something that's more powerful in a positive manner, or we're not connecting to God in a way that we should. So I remember reading Luke chapter 11, right around 25 it starts, where Jesus is talking about a clean house and that. Um, I guess the individual cleaned his inside or his, his, his spirit, his temple of evil spirits. And because the house was so clean, but it wasn't filled up with anything, uh, it came back or seven spirits came back and, you know, kind of attacked the individual. So for us, what we have to do is realize when we're giving up something for Lent, we have to replace what we've given up with something po positive. So if we've given, decided to give up meat or something like that, for example, don't be like me and try to replace that with a McDonald's salad every day because it's not going to work. Um, for me, when I did decide to give up uh, chicken and beef and stuff like that, ultimately for me to stick to that and even not desire that after Lent, I had to have some good hearty vegetarian and vegan meals. And then, you know, my desire for meat just kind of went away. Or I remember, you know, remember giving up soda and stuff like that, and I had to replace that with a lot of water, a lot of uh, positive, um, excuse me, positive, a lot of um, natural fruit juices, not you know the sugary drinks. And then when I tasted soda, it was just kind of disgusting. So remember, if you want to su succeed at Lit, replace uh, the thing that you're giving up with something extremely positive. And also be sure that you're connecting with God on a daily basis during the Lenten season and you'll ultimately be successful. That is it. Once again, my name is Terrell Harris. Peace and blessings. Visit openbox.com for more messages like this. If you're on Facebook, like our page. And if you're on Twitter, be sure to retweet this message. Peace.